Well, lately, I have to confess something. I've had an inappropriate relationship. Indeed, I did have a relationship with you that was not appropriate. With Italian sausage. I'm in love with it. So I'm going to show you one of the things I've been doing with Italian sausage. It's not too dirty. And you might fall in love with it, too. Until you get tired of it, and then you just leave it by the wayside. Like any other relationship. Hello and welcome once again to Cooking Under the Influence with me, your host. I'm Sean, your chef du jour. And yes, as I said, I've had a completely inappropriate relationship with an inanimate object. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. That's putting it mildly. Italian sausage. It's so good. But before we start cooking, as every good chef knows, we need a drink. Today's drink is called Dark and Stormy. How does it go? Well, let's get a glass. Ice in the glass. All right, we're gonna get us some dark rum. This is a Kraken rum I had on here a while back. Release the Kraken! Clean glass, glass, like, I don't know, halfway? Sure. With rum, more if you want. I don't care, it's fine with me. And we're gonna get some ginger beer. This is Gosling's ginger beer. It's pretty good. I don't think it has any alcohol. Nope, non-alcoholic. Like root beer, but ginger. And we're just going to put in a squeeze of lime in there. And that's our dark and stormy. Ooh. That's good. Okay. This thing I'm going to do with Italian sausage is awesome. But it's very quick. Not nearly enough time to cook under the influence. Because this is my first cocktail. Let's do something else along with my little Italian sausage dish. I went to the garden today, and I got a couple of peppers. This didn't even make a dent in my pepper crop. So I got these that were sold to me as bell peppers. They're clearly not bell peppers. I think they're poblano peppers. And some jalapenos. I know, let's core them out. How do you core a pepper? I don't know, I've never done that before. All right, let's pretend we know what we're doing. I'm just going to cut the end off and see if this works. Now, you got your seeds and crap in there. So let's see if we can sort of force those seeds and fins out. It's not too bad. Got most of the seeds out of there. I'm sure they make some sort of tool specifically for doing this but I don't have one of those tools. What kind of stuffing would go well in peppers besides, you know, stuffed bell peppers that I did a while back? Let's try, let's try this. I'm gonna get some cream cheese. Okay, nice big block of cream cheese. Let's put it in the microwave a couple of seconds just to soften it a bit while you wait for the microwave. Don't touch your eyes, your mouth, your nose after handling jalapenos. It is not pretty. And God bless you going to the bathroom. Let's get some crab meat. Now, being from Louisiana, we can easily get crab meat. I hate picking crabs, which is why I'm so grateful they have these little tubs of it. I don't particularly care what you stuff your peppers with. You don't have to do any of this at all. You can just stay home and watch me drink and do this. This is some kosher salt, a little bit of that. We're going to have plenty of spice going on with this dish, so we don't need to add a whole lot. Actually, it doesn't look that amazing. It's just like a big blob of bleh. How are we going to get it into the peppers? Uh, I'm going to use the end of a spoon and see if I can shove it into there somehow. All right, this is not really working very well. Maybe a butter knife would work better. This is going to take forever. So let's take 10 hours and shove little tiny dots of crab meat and sour cream, I mean cream cheese, into a tiny little pepper because that's worthwhile. All right, fuck that. Slice them not all the way through just so you can open it up and it's still a whole pepper. And let's just fill them that away. 
Okay, so since we're slicing these things down the middle, that whole part of using a little knife to core out the uh, seeds and all, you can skip that part. I need a pepper stuffing song. Is there a pepper stuffing song? Mama loves stuffing, stuffing, stuffing. Mama loves stuffing, stuffing crab. Crabby, cheesy, fuck ever that is in there. Time for a refill. Daddy loves dark and dark and dark and daddy loves dark and stormy drinks. The best part of this CUI is I haven't even gotten to the Italian sausage part. Italian, what the fuck am I saying? Everything's better with bacon. Or, or what is this? Crab meat and some kind of cheese. Wrap it up with a bacon. A bacon. Take a little toothpick. Right. Ow. I just toothpick my finger. See how the end is like all, all the shit's going to fall out of there. Let's take it and do like the Shroud of Turin and wrap it up lengthways. And then take another piece of bacon because more bacon means more better. Ooh. Oh, I dropped it, but I caught it. That was a good catch. If you have no idea what I'm talking about when I say Shroud of Turin, a Shroud of Turin is supposedly the shroud that the body of Jesus was wrapped in when he died. B, the way the Shroud of Turin is arranged, let me demonstrate. This is Jesus. Here's his head, here's his feet. Here's the Shroud of Turin, which is bacon. Head covered with the shroud, this away. And then the back, that away. All right, not wrapped like a mummy. Shroud of Turin, there you go. Has anyone noticed that we've done nothing with Italian sausage yet? Even though that was like the main theme and forgive me Father for I have sinned and all that garbage from the beginning of the damn video. Jesus peppers stuffed with crab meat. Oh fuck, I never did. God damn, I never preheated the oven. 380. Sure, that sounds good. Unholy relationship video with Italian sausage. So why don't we get to that, shall we? Okay. I have sinned against you, my lord. Oh, get us a get us a pan. You're familiar with what a pan is. Turn it on high. Italian sausage. This stuff is awesome. This is like a big, long chunk of sausage. It's all pig intestines full of pig. Cut your casing. This is like a circumcision gone horribly wrong. We're going to take the meat out of the sausage. That's why we slice the casing. Drop it in there. Take all of our sausage. All right, we're gonna brown our sausage meat. It's like, it's like poo. A few chunks are okay, but you don't want giant chunks because that's just uncomfortable. I just made a poo reference on a cooking show. Remember other peppers? Peppers do so well with Italian sausage. So we're gonna slice those up. The Italian sausage is reasonably brown. If there's a lot of liquid, if there's a lot of fat, drain it off. If there's not, then fuck it. Let's put that on the side for now. Whatever the fuck pepper this is that grows in my garden. I don't know what it is. I want red onions today. I don't have red onions growing, so I got a red onion. Let's slice that up too. Get a little pat of butter. Throw it in. Why not? While we're waiting for the butter to melt, it's time for a refill. I'm glad it beat because I forgot to put the freaking peppers in the oven. Jesus. Let's throw in our vegetables. What's odd about goslings is a gosling is a baby goose. But for some reason, goslings has a seal. It's a non sequitur. Alright, I was looking for brown, but some of this shit is kind of black. Alright. Oh, we'll live with it. Oh, oh. Jesus Christ, why is this so freaking difficult?
Oh my god. Put it back on the heat. Put a bunch of wine in there. Let's get our Italian sausage that we've had resting on the side. Dump that back in there. We're gonna bring that to a simmer. Okay, go to your garden, get you some herbs. In this case, we're using tarragon and thyme. Rinse your herbs because there's bugs and shit. Stock of it. And you're gonna go, whoops, you're gonna go backwards. So all the leaves fall off in your hand. Throw that in there. And if I have a hangover in the morning, which is entirely likely, then I have no one to blame for it but me. Oh, there's a thought. Taking personal responsibility for shit you do? That's freaking unheard of. Nobody put a gun to your head to do a damn fucking drunk cooking show. All right, tarragon is very similar to thyme. We're just going to strip the leaves off the stem, put them on the side there. I loathe and despise licorice. I hate it. But I love licorice flavored things. Tarragon is licorice flavored. Whatever, what Italian invented Italian sausage? Because I would like to shake their hand or something. I love what they have done with the whole pork product um, milieu. Chop up your tarragon. Let's throw your tarragon all up in the in the goodness there. We're gonna add some kosher salt. That's like not quite a that's two teaspoons ish. Garlic. This is granulated garlic. You've seen it before on here. Suffuse our entire mixture. We're gonna let the liquid deliquify, also known as evaporate. Add a little physics brain fart there. This is granulated garlic. Maybe I added this to it too before. I don't remember. Because this is one of those CUIs where I don't remember what I did before. Okay, this is a super secret recipe. It's a pot of water. The cream cheese seems to have leaked out all over the damn place. Okay, our water is boiling. Let's put some pasta in there. There's still a good bit of liquid left. There's a stem of thyme. How do you thicken it up? Let's get some flour. Make a root. Just add a good pinch of flour to your liquid. I kind of forgot I had shit in the oven. I remembered it. Ow! It just burned my arm. It's been almost 24 hours since I had anything to eat, so this shit is getting to me. Drain the colander. Your pasta that you're draining, coat it with olive oil. Let's get a jalapeno. Let's get a big pepper. Get you a nice wad of pasta. Get you a tiny sausage. Sauce with which I have had completely illegitimate, possibly illegal relationship with pepper. Cream cheese, baked crab meat, and bacon. Kind of peppery. <clears throat> I'm not sure that pepper and crab meat are the best combination. But it's not bad. Try it. This is pasta and Italian sausage. Let's see how that goes. Oh, holy crap. This just affirms my illegitimate relationship with Italian sausage. Whatever I did here, I don't remember because I've had way too many dark and stormies. Do it. And next time on Cooking Under the Influence, I will see you. Adios. Man, little baby loves shooting, shooting. Man, little baby loves shooting.